April, the Lord shows me how, how something is being built and how it is, he says, he shows me specifically, specifically how it is being built with nails and, and, and like the wood, it, it's held together through nails, it's held together with something sharp. And I hear the Lord saying that that is his word. His word is sharp, his word is true, his words can connect. And because you use his word and then you... You, you take something, you take something, and then you take his word. Is this, is, this the Lord's, is this the Lord's will? And then he connects it. Yes, it is. That is what he has spoken to you. His words that he speaks to you are the connection to tell you um, how, how things are and where you are going and, and if you feel you are on the right path. And the Lord is saying that he is calling you in deeper. So do not worry so much. Just be submissive to him. Be blessed. Okay. April, uh, I also have felt uh, that the Lord is calling you to a higher level of holiness. And uh, in the Bible, they have the Nazarenes. Uh, they didn't drink, they didn't cut their hair, and they really lived holy before the Lord. But the Lord gave them extraordinary favor. And I just felt that the Lord is uh, giving you a higher level of holiness, but also a higher level of power and favor on your life. God bless you, April. Okay, so Gael, uh, I saw you climbing the mountain, uh, and especially the cliffs, uh, and you had the ropes, you had the anchors, everything, but you not using your ropes. You're just holding on to, with your own strength. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that Jesus is that rock and you need to trust in him and you need to put your anchors into him and so that you can stand on him and even some of the decisions in your life you can just say you know what I don't have to worry about it because I've given it to Jesus he's going to take care of it and I, and I just felt the Lord wants to take a lot of uh, um, a pressure off of you and say I'm there I'm your God I'm going to protect you so you can rely on me God bless you Amen God bless you girl um, this next word is for Lisa Lisa I just feel the Lord is is really giving you healing right now you've been asking the Lord for healing trusting the Lord for healing I don't know if it's for your life or for a family member but I just feel the Lord is really giving you healing and he, and I really want to encourage you God is saying lay and Jesus has said to us lay hands on on, per, on the on the people when you pray for people um, for healing but because that's what Jesus did and then I just saw a picture of a cloud around you and it was just like a cloud of God's glory but I but this cloud was so heavy and I just feel the Lord say, and it was kind of like but you were kind of delaying it it's like this cloud wants to rain down in your life but you're like no not yet no not yet no 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 not yet this is not the right time but the Lord says now is the time I want to overflow and, and rain down on you um, the drought is over and I just feel the Lord says stop saying it's not over because the drought is over and I just feel the moment you open up your heart there's a lot of rain that's going to come because this cloud is heavy. God loves you so yes. much. You are so precious to him. God bless you. Amen. Next word is for Renata. Um, I, um, I see you, that you're standing and God comes and he just puts um, cotton wool around you and, and it says to me that he's comforting you, he's wrapping you up in his arms, he's, he's really so that you can experience his love because I feel that you need to just go sit by his feet and you need to just let it out. You need to cry and cry and cry. Um, I, I always say ugly cry. You know that mm -hmm. ugly cry where you really just cry and just let it out because there will be so much release. There will be so much. You will feel so much lighter. And I feel there's there's a person or two that you need to really forgive. And, and, and from that you will get a release. And from that all those chains will drop. But God will protect you in this process. And he will comfort you in this process. And you will be able to do this. Be blessed. Our next word is for Brenda Bastanzi. Brenda, God loves you so much. I just feel like our God is showing me that He's going to put you, your frequency and His frequency is going to align. And I feel like how, when that happens, how a peace and a joy will simultaneously, like the peace and the joy of God, how that will enter into you. I see like our God shows me that you've got like heavy shoulders, shoulders that feels like you have to like take a lot of pressure, you have to like handle a lot of situations. And I just see how God comes and He like massages the shoulders. He takes away all the pain, He takes away all the heaviness. And I just see like our God gives you comfort, He gives you joy. And I feel like our God is showing me, He's giving you a bucket and He's saying, put all your sorrows into this bucket and then when he takes your sorrows I see how like he placed it in a river in the river of the father and the river of the father takes those sorrows and I just feel like how that sorrows is being wa washed away and how God's love and joy is being poured upon you be blessed thank you Brenda for being here please remember write us a comment the next word is for Kerry Ann Kerry Ann the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a sliding door and the wheels is not moving smoothly 
sometimes you pull the door and it comes out of the rails even the same as with curtains if they've got those wheels and it gets stuck and you pull it in it doesn't work nice I see that picture for you and I feel like there's frustration that is causing that and the Lord says the, the solution is simple anointing because the anointing brings the oil the oil that will wash away all of the the things that is stuck that brings the frustration so I just see how you need to look at the Lord and see how the oil is flowing from him unto you and then you pray and you you make your desires known to the Lord so that that oil can flow down from you and when it flows down then you just see how you stand in this oil and you take this oil and you appreciate this oil and then I see the oil starts to go inside of you and it's going to be bring healing and release to you be blessed Amen Carrie please if I can click the right spot, please leave us a comment this next word is for Anthony Anthony the Lord says that he did of that verse that the Lord feeds the birds of the air and are we not more more than them and I hear the Lord saying he feeds them and up no sorry he hasn't said that but I heard someone say that the, even though the Lord feeds the birds, He doesn't place the worms inside of their nest, that they have to go out and find it. And I hear the Lord saying that I want you to go out and find it because I have placed it there for you to find, for you to grow on the way when you find it. Be blessed. Anthony, God bless you. Uh, it's awesome to, to have you. Uh, so, uh, Herman Lo. So, um, Herman is a junior pastor, youth leader at the uh, um, family church there in Ermelua. So uh, I said to him, we'll minister to him and Daniel, his wife. Um, so Herman, I felt that the Lord is saying to you that this is a year of being established. And I saw how the Lord gives you a house, how the Lord gives you a car, how the Lord plants you, and how you start to grow and bear fruit, and how the Lord says, this is the place, this is the place where you're going to uh, build where you going to establish, where you're going to bear your fruit, where you're going to have a future, uh, that is the spot. And so I just felt that the Lord says, rejoice and settle and, and don't make plans, but saying, this is now my, this is, this is the next 20 years. This yeah. is what I'm going to do. This is where I'm going to have my kids. This is where I'm going to uh, have joy. And the Lord says, you're going to be fulfilled. Uh, and you're going to grow massive far beyond you can imagine. God bless you, Herman. Amen. God bless you, Herman. This next word is for Danielle. Danielle, it's such a great blessing. So the picture God showed me for you was how um, there are gateways. And I just feel the Lord says that I'm open. I'm <coughs> opening up gateways, not only of just for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to come in yes. and to flow through, but also like financial gateways. And I just feel the Lord is really opening up doors. But also, I just feel the Lord is really giving you strength right now because it's like you're facing this Goliath, and I just feel the Lord says, I am closing the gateway of the enemy, no longer will he steal. And I just saw how you entered into a dark room, and how it, it and it was like there was like veils, and I just saw how the Lord gave you like um, the tools that you needed to take that off so the light could come in. And I just feel that's what you, that's who God created you to be. And when you go into dark places, God has called you to tear off those curtains so that his light and glory can come in. And I just feel there's a lot of places that God has placed you right now where you're letting his presence come in because you're a carrier of the presence of God and then lastly I just see how your hair is growing just like Samson's hair grew and there's so much strength God has placed in your heart God loves you and his oil is overflowing in your life um, also for for um, um, also for your children as well I just see like oil is going to overflow yes. God bless you I mean, uh, Danielle, um, <laughs> um, I see how God is going to give you, He's already given you the keys. And I see how you're yes. going into this place where there's almost like, it's almost like a, you know, when you go into this, this, this high security place in the bank and you have to have a special key to open every little box and everyone places their speci special things in these boxes. And I see how you have all the keys and God wants you to search out every little box. He wants you to search in the Word because you have special messages to share. So that, so that the youth can understand this and so that you can equip them to do more and so that but you are also going to grow from this because you're going to search deeper you're not going to, going to just touch on the level you're not just going to do foundation you are going to go higher and higher and higher you already have the keys open up your hands and receive that
because God is going to place that in your hands so that you can use it and so that you can open all those doors and so that you can search deeper for better revelations, more revelations, higher revelations so that you can go higher and I really feel that, that um, I don't know if, if you really uh, do Hebrew, Hebrew letters but I really feel that God wants you to go deeper into the Hebrew letters of the Bible also. Be blessed. Our next word is for Shay Songbird. Shay, when I prayed for you, I felt like our God showed me that you've got anointing oil on your hand. But I feel like how this anointing oil is like a different anointing oil. I feel like how when you touch people and when you start to pray for people with this anointing oil, it's like this anointing oil already know what this person needs prayer for. And I feel like how God shows me as well that He like I saw like how He gave you like a like a lot of doves, and I felt like how the doves were like a depiction of the Holy Spirit. And I just felt like how God showed me that when you're like walking randomly and you just like start to pray for people when you go to people and you start to pray for people I see like how God shows me how the Holy Spirit enters that person how people are being saved and I just see like how God shows me that you've got the compassion and the love for people to see people around you that, that you don't see like the the per person begging on the street and you're like no why is it not working but you see the heart of God for that person and I just see like how God shows me that because of that how he's like opening doors for you to help people and to release God's word to other people I just see like how God shows me that when you start to speak the word of God over the people how God's word is like released over that people so that the anointing anointing that God has placed inside of your voice, how that anointing rubs off on that person and I just see like how God shows me that how like a change reaction is going to happen and how like people are going to be released, uh, re revived and released and renewed and re uh, just recharged. I just see like how God shows me like how a world can be changed because of that. Be blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.